to the Wimbush Briscoe family, I extend condolences on behalf of myself and the city of Tacoma Park. My name is Licia Montfort and we've compiled a video diary of friends and family um, expressing our love for Sorrell and how he positively impacted our lives. I pray that this video will bring you comfort during your time of bereavement. Hi, how's everybody doing? I'm Sorrell Senior. This is Sorrell's little brother, Jack Kwan. Uh, I'd like to invite everybody out to, to this event. I heard it was another event, but um, we're here, waiting for everybody to come. And uh, this is where I'm quite sure all you stood and, stood and watched my son play basketball and do other things and converse with him and all that other stuff that y'all do. Um, I'm hoping that eventually somebody will come forward and let, let, know, let me know what happened to our ch my child. Um, everybody knows him around here. I don't want to start any type of animosity, so I really would appreciate it if somebody would come forward and let that happen. You know, all y'all youngers know me. I showed all y'all love when y'all came to my house and sat down and, talk, sat down and talk and sat down with my son. So all I can say is peace to y'all, man, and all y'all be safe. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Marsha, Cyril's mother. As he would say, Ma Dukes. And to many of you all, I'm your Ma Dukes. And all of y'all knew Grandma Gigi on Maple Ave. And as you know, Sorrell would have been 27 today. And I thank the city of Tacoma Park, the Thayer Avenue, the Maple Avenue, and all of those crews for showing my son much love during this time of our bereavement. And I don't know how else to thank you. I'm forever indebted to everybody. And if I go further, I know I'm gonna break down. So I say to you all, I hope I get justice and closure for my son, who I call C2, and you all call Rail. And to Rail, sleep in peace, and he's always 7,600 for life. Thank you. Well, I'm his Aunt Sharon and everything, and I just wanted to come over here and say a few words about what I remember from him. One of the biggest stories that I remember about him, he had been sick and had been out of school for like 10 days straight. And then he went back to school and he aced the test that he had never even studied for, didn't even know what the test was about. Um, that's just the type of person that he was. He was very talented musically and intellectually. Yeah, he may have made some wrong decisions out there in the streets, but other than that, he was a very good, kind soul. Um, we're gonna miss you. Love you, always thinking about you. Happy birthday, 27 strong. All right. What's up, little bro? Happy birthday. The family out here, we out here to support you, man. We're gonna slide in peace for you. We love you, we miss you, man. What's up, baby boy, it's Big Sis. Happy birthday. Um, I definitely wish this was under different circumstances. I love you. I love you. I love you. Fly high, and I'm, I see you when I get there. I just want to say happy birthday, Real. Rest in peace, cousin. We love you. We miss you, and we gonna keep everything going. I just want to say rest in peace, Real. Happy B day. We love you. Real, Real was the type of person that everybody wanted to be in their neighborhood. He had a personality, you know, that nobody will forget. He was more than just a regular person. He was a brother. All of that, like real. He was more to the community than a lot of people know. You know, he did a lot. He loved a lot of people. Rest in peace, real man. That's all I want to say. Happy birthday. We love you. We never forget you. Hey, happy birthday, Sorrel. Rest in peace, Cereal, as I always called you. I just want to thank you for always being there when everybody had turned their back on me. You made sure you reached out and you called and made sure I was good. And you've always been there for me. So for that, I thank you. And I hope you rest in peace forever, live on forever. We will keep your memory alive. Love you, Sorrell. Hey, um, Sorrell was like my big brother, man. Um, always was somebody who I could look to to have my back no matter no, any situation. Um, I was telling him at the vigil, I remember 
like three, four years ago at Ocean City. We all out there celebrating our birthday. My birthday is June 5th, so it was yesterday. His birthday is today, June 6th. Um, so, you know, I, we made a lot of memories that summer at Ocean City, but uh, Sorrell was definitely somebody who was always out here pooping, you know what I'm saying, whether it was basketball, turning up, whatever. Um, definitely was a big brother to me. And uh, I'm gonna definitely turn up for you for my birthday today, uh, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna miss you, man. Rest in peace. Rel, you know, we've been through a lot. You was helping me with my father. When my father passed away, you was there with us. We lived together. Just know that your little, your little big sister is gonna miss you. I love you. You're always gonna be in my heart. Man, Big Devil, your manager, you feel me? Look, one thing about Rail, bro, one of the most passionate, thorough dudes I know. You get what I'm saying? Like, everything bro did, you feel me? Whether it was something he had nothing business doing or whether it was his music, bro did it to the fullest, right? So, anybody watching this, I want y'all to know that. Bro went hard at everything he did. So, we not gonna let him live or die in vain by just sitting out here slacking. Pick that slack up, get on your job, Go hard at everything y'all do. I don't care who talking about you. I don't care who looking at you. People used to call me and bro some crybabies because we emotional and all that. But we'll tell you about yourself. That's what that is. You feel me? We passionate in everything that we do. Be passionate in everything you do. You feel me? Affect the people around you just like bro did. Leave with an impact made. You feel me? That's how you become a legend. And boy, you a legend. I love you, bro. Forever. Well, it was positive to me. Just watching when I was young, he used to go always outside hooping. It was one time I was out here shooting with him and he was just always telling me how his path and my path was always going to be different. But you can always end up the same way, it goes to the same. So basically that's that one one thought I kept in my head was your uh, path might not be the same, but you can always still make it. That's from basketball and through life. So I kept that with me since he done told me that. So keep resting, bro. Rest in peace, my dog, real man. Your energy was crazy every time we linked up, bro. He was real. He taught me to turn up with whatever I do in life, man. You was just one. Of, your energy was crazy, bro. Like, no matter what it is I'ma do in life, I'ma remember you, bro. All the times, experiences, I'ma turn up for the game for you, bro. You already know what it is. I appreciate you. Appreciate all the times we had, bro. All the times we linked up. You was a solid dude, man. Rest in peace, fool. Rest in peace to my man, Rail. Always motivated me, inspired me to do this music, turn up. Always told me good things. Always was a big brother to me, and I appreciate all the times we had. My dog for life. I just wanted to say, Rail was a good man. He uh, he really taught me and my other friends out here how to how to be a mature young adult and how to handle consequences, even good or bad. He knew he had a good, he has a big, good heart for everyone. No matter what type of flaw he had, he still had love for us. He tried to, he, he represented Tacoma Park. He represented everyone that wanted to do something entrepreneur wise, music wise, all types of ways. He would support everybody. Everybody who supported him, he supported back. And he's a good man. And that's all I had to say. I just wanted to say long live, my man, bro. We were supposed to be out here hooping in the middle of the summer for the uh, for the little leagues on. He said we were going to be the Warriors. He just made an impact on everybody. He'll truly be missed. Long live, bro, bro. Bro was always there since I was a baby, bro. That's some hell, but he always found out when the school called my mom. I always crushed me, bro. But I always kept going to school because of him, bro. And my people, he always pushed me. I got hard because of him, bro. That's it. Long live, bro, bro. You know, too much. Every time I was around him, he was turned. Had a fun time. So, long live, bro. I know my man, for nine plus years. I've been down here, seeing him every day. I know how it is. Long live, bro. That's my dog. He was the wave. They took the wave from niggas. So, yeah. So, rest in peace, my man. Man, no little world. He was like a big brother to me, man. So every time he see me, he called me Robot Chicken. He said I move like a robot. It's crazy. We took a big L with this one. No little world. For real, not even from around here, but my man always showed love, though. 
Rest in peace, bro. Uh, I remember like just coming out here. I'm not really from around here, but I just used to play basketball with him, you know, for a couple of times. Uh, talked to him a couple of times. You know, I ain't really know him on a personal level, but when I seen him, it was always good times. Well, he was a good role model to me on the basketball court. Always fierce. I wrote, uh, examined my game after him a lot. I looked up to him on the court. I always tried to study his moves. He was a good influence to me. Happy birthday, Ro. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bro. You know we love you. You know I miss you. You know since I got here, it hasn't been easy. You know I've been watching out for your mom. At the end of the day, I got your mom. I'm always going to hold her down for you. Like I said, I miss you. I love you. You up there with dad now, so you and dad better watch and take care of all of us. I love keep you. Keep your name alive. We keep your name alive. Got that tatted right now. La familia is all about the family right now. We love you. You heard? Love you, bro. Hi, Melanie Hardy. I am Sorrell's family member. Sorrell, I want to wish you happy birthday up in heaven. You did with Gigi. You did with I'm Matt, my mother. Um, I'm going to miss you. You was a good person. You had a good heart. And everybody is showing so much love for you, even your family and the people, your street family. And I'm going to miss you during the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. You always ask me, Aunt Melanie, you got that cranberry sauce? Because it was only three people ate that cranberry sauce. That was my mother, me, and you. And I just want to say that we are really going to miss you. Okay? Love you. Hi everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Ree, Kyrie. Real, I'm 25. Real, I don't know real 20 years. I met real when I was five, six, six seven years old. Like, I could talk to y'all about real that people don't know. The genuine side of real, the loving, protecting side of real. Basketball player real, the real that influences everybody to do good. I could talk to you about that all day. Like, real is a loving person. No matter, real might not pay you back from a $5 bet. Let him hit some of you in trouble. Real, the first person did. Real, one person. I, me, I'm not no emotional person. You know what I'm saying? Real, with him passing, that shit just took part of my body away from me. Took part of my soul away from me. Like, from this school right here to the other school, Tacoma Park Elementary, Piney Branch, Tacoma Middle, all that. This real done live with me. When I didn't have nowhere to stay real, I was able to live in his house. Took care of me. When I didn't have no money to put towards no groceries, no hygiene or nothing, I was able to be fed and be able to take care of myself. That's the part about him. Uh, people might not be able to bring up about I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm strictly right there. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a preach about that. Ray was a good person. If he loved you, he loved you. And if he loved you, you know that he loved you because he let it be known. He don't share his emotions with people the same way I don't. Sorrell was my first love. Um, but more than anything, he was my friend. Um, I know him for a long time, over 10 years. He is, he's a protector. He's there for everyone, everyone he cares about. He's, his love is like a one-time feeling. He's, he's somebody I will never forget and I think everybody's just happy to have experienced him. And these are memories I'm gonna have forever. I love him. Man, real, man. Real, probably the realest, realest person I know. Taught me a lot. You know I'm saying, so I like my big bro. Probably the only OG that I had left for real, you know. Just, he taught me a lot. Moved differently. You know what I'm saying? Try me. Just, just taught me how to, you know what I'm saying, be a better person for myself, not just like, you know what I'm saying, try to de escalate all the wow, everything going on. He looked past all that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just missing like, like crazy. It's, you know what I'm saying? I still, to this day, still can't believe you gone, bro. Just want to tell you I love you, man. Keep watching over me, man. And take care of your mom, take care us, of your sisters, your brothers, everybody. everybody that loved you. I love you, bro. We love you. We miss you dearly every day. Every day, bro.
every day. Yeah, La familia, like you always say. What's up, bruh? I miss you, bruh. I still don't know what to really say, but I love you, bruh. You feel me? And you know what we was on. And I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a put it on my back, you feel me? For us. For all of us. You feel me? I feel like we was just talking about everybody coming back out now. Like, this is what brought everybody back out. You feel me? X. You know what's up with him. I love you, bro, man. You the man who taught me how to play basketball. Stay in the gym. Stay out of the streets. Trying to do it for you. Go to school, man. I love you, bro. You know, it's forever, bro. Forever. Baby A, she good. You hear me? I'm good. You good. We all gonna be good, bro. I love you, bro. Um, rest in peace, Terrell. He was a big influence in my life. He always kept, kept positive vibes. He always pushed us to do greater. Um, I knew him since I was since I was real young. And he always kept it positive. Like he's just a man. I don't even know how to say it. Like, I don't even have words for it. Man, he's just a good man. You know, he tried to provide for his community. You know what I'm saying? Love for him, man. That's all I gotta say. No more work. I only been around here for like two, three years. I've known him for three years. I ain't never met nobody with this type of energy and passion. It's like whenever he came, he brought everybody together. He the one that gets you want to do stuff. Like, still can't believe he's gone. All right, he just man. Brad was the type of person that would ring you up and check on you when you had trouble in math class. <laughs> Make sure that you were understanding each problem because he was just that type of a friend. Whenever you seen him, you just knew that it was like home. He was such a comfortable person to be around. Long live him. Rest in peace of real, man. Yeah, bro always brought positive energy to the, you know what I'm saying, party. Good man, you know what I'm saying. Good, you always provide a protection for you if you need you know, anything. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, bro. I love you, bro. You miss you, man. I don't let my man real, man, out the gate. How he impacted me. He just brought good vibes to me all the time. You hear me? I'm from the south side, he from Mabel, but we always connected like this, you hear me? He always was a real nigga, I respect that, you hear me? Shorty gonna always be with me, you hear me? Out the gate. Rest in peace, real. Man. Good memories, man, good memories. Good memories, bro. That's all I can say, man. Right, I just wanted to say, I'm gonna give my condolences to Real Mother. Because Real Jai like taught me a lot. He taught me to be a man, stand up for your own. Don't be, you know, don't be soft. Just do what you gotta do. Stay for your family. Just straight like that. Thank you. So Real, or Real as he was known, had impacted many people's lives, including myself as well as my brothers. Um, though Real, um, he lived an interesting life, but he always impacted people around him. He was always loyal. That's one thing he was really focused on, loyalty. And he was there for people that needed him, or if it was family, or even if it wasn't. And he gave off good lessons and basically good code to most of my brothers, basically all of them, so that when they step out in the real life, they actually execute it, whether it's music or video blogs or clothing or anything, whatever it is, they learn from him to stand up and to have the strength to follow through whatever they got to do and to never back out. And that's one thing I'm always grateful for. May he rest in peace. We all love him. Condolences to his family. Hi, Rel. It's your baby shoddy and your godson. We just want to say that we love you and we miss you. Happy birthday. I know you up there turned up, bro. Just come see us soon. We love you. Be easy. I'm going to take care of Nas. I got him. Oh, my God. Right now, I'm just in still disbelief. But I want to say happy birthday to you, Rel. You have always been a brother towards me. I mean, we grew up from... What, Tacoma Park, Piney Branch, Tacoma Middle School, I mean, 
it's, it's still unbelievable to me. But all I want to say is happy birthday. You was a great person. Despite the rapping and everything or whatever, you was a great person. You had a good heart. You love people. I just know that. You love the kids, first and foremost. You told my little cousin how to ride a bike. He loved you when he was young. He's grown and 16 now. Oh my God, I can think about the times where real used to smack all of us. I mean, just smack us. Just, I mean, when I mean smack us, I mean, just, I mean, and his hands were so heavy. Like, you be ready to fight him. Like, I will fight you, real. I will fight you. Like, I'm not playing no hit me like that again. You know what I'm saying? It's just so many memories. Like, I can remember the last time as we, you know, we adults now, we all separate in life. But I can remember the last time you even wrote me on Instagram, like, Girl, you better go to the. You need to. If you need to go to the gun range with me, don't relapse. Don't this and that. And you, like you always just been supportive. Like you always just, even though you still was on your path of doing things, like you always supported everybody. Like period. Like I love you, bruh. Like I love you, and I just still can't believe this right now that I'm sitting here making this film for you. But I know you are in a happy place. I know you in a better place, and I know that you're at peace now. Out here in the world is crazy, but you at peace now. I love you. All the memories I can share is little kid memories, to be honest. I had some adult memories with you at the backyard show, messing it up, because I know you, you you love backyard. Big G love you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was always there. You know, I always would ride for you, regardless of anything. Like, so I just want to say happy birthday, real. I love you, baby. Maple Ave for life. Love you. First, I want to start by saying happy birthday. Rest in peace, my brother. Man, it all started on the court, man. Watching him grow up from being a little kid, trying to ball like the older guys, you know, being around the neighborhood. It just, so many memories, man. Especially on that court, going out, having cookouts. I'm just heartbroken, man. He had to lose his life at a young age. He didn't get to see 30, you know what I'm saying? I'm praying for y'all every day, the family. Cord, Fred, Nalaysia, all y'all, pray, I'm praying for y'all every day. I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. Like, I was just with him that night, right before it happened. We having fun. That wasn't, I didn't think in my mind that was gonna be my last time seeing him. Touching him, hugging him, ha laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just sad, man, that he had to go so soon. And, I just wish we had more time to talk, more time to, you know, go out. Like, we had plans to, you know what I'm saying, go out the country, travel. And, you know, he like, he was on his rap game real hard. So, you know, I just, I'm just lost for words. I don't know what to say. But I love y'all. I know he looking down on us and don't want us to be sad. But love you, baby boy, till we meet again. What's up, little bro? It's your boy DJ Beezy, man. Lost the words, man. I'm heartbroken. Glad you're in a better place, though. Uh, I had a moment with you about two weeks ago, man. You performed when I was DJing at Belagger Lounge right here in downtown Silver Spring. We chopped it up outside afterwards, man. That's my, that's my memory of you. It's going to be the best memory I got for you. Uh, found out after all this situation that my mom and uh, was cool with your father. Disco. Uh, small world, man. Love you, bro. Look over us, man. Keep that energy up, bro. Peace. We ready, man. Um, happy B day, bro. Happy C day, Brody. You know the vibes, man. You know how we coming, man. Forever broke, forever well, man. We was about to go up, bro. Still going up. Still Today's going your up. Name. We already have Bro, your name bigger than ever. You feel me? I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I talk to you every night. I wish I could talk to you every night still, bro. Hey, stay up, Brody. I love you, fool. This Lowe's here, bro. I want to let you know, happy birthday. I miss you, man. Broke my heart to see you leave. Man, until we meet again, just wanted to say that I love you. I'm always miss you. I knew you from when I was little. So yeah, man, until we cross that road again, I'm gonna walk out for you, hell well. All right, man. Man, yeah, it's Roddy, man. What's up, cuz? It's your boy, Dunk, you hear me? Uh, God damn, I ain't gonna say rest in peace cuz cause, cause I still think you about to be back. You about to be with us, but you already know. Watch over the whole gang. The whole mob, we out here for you. Happy G Day, and we about to turn up. I just wanna pay my respects to my man Sorrell. 
Let you know I love you, fool, forever, man. To his family, just let y'all know my name Boo. Y'all need to find me, Darrell Went or Goo, either or, man. Y'all just reach out. Mom, dude, she already know me, you know what I'm saying? But it's nothing but love, and I'm sorry for y'all loves. Hey, I'm Hennessy. He used to call me Hen Dog. He was more, he was like a brother to me for real. Like, when I really needed, needed him, he was there all the time. No matter what, he could be 20 minutes away, and he'll, and I'll call him, and he'll, he'll find a way and be there like in five. He, like, especially with, with his friends, we were all treated like family to him. We were family to him. Sorrell Briscoe, very great young man. We're gonna miss him. I've coached him. I watched that young man grow up, and you know, he 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 did his thing. He, he went all the way around, he learned some hard stuff, he learned some good stuff, but he was on his way back to doing positive, man, and, um, you know, I guess God need another angel. We miss you. Thank you, Sorrell. Love to his parents and his family. Peace. When I think of Sorrell, I think of a firecracker because he was always filled with so much energy, um, and he lit up a room when he walked in. For as long as I can remember, um, since he was, what, in elementary school, um, he's always been great at making friends and bringing people in and showing love to others. Um, though he was a little brother to many of us, he also played the role of big brother and protector to a lot of the young people from Tacoma Park, even outside of Tacoma Park, that just came here to hang out. Um, so though he's no longer with us, he will be greatly missed um, and he will never be forgotten. Um, my memories that I'll have of him that will always, la that always last is that um, he enjoyed making jokes, joining on people, making people laugh, um, and he had an infectious laughter. Um, so that will always be remembered. And our love for him is just the reflection of his love for everyone else. So I pray that during this time that God brings you comfort and peace. Um, and if there's anything that you need, please don't be afraid to reach out. Thank you. God bless. Happy birthday!